started modding or hexing your own pets, as they call it. Um, so the program I'm using is Pet Workshop, and it's definitely the easiest for beginners to start with because you have a visual interface. Um, so to get started, um, first, if you've never used this before, you may need to click on go to File, click on Settings, and then put in the path of wherever you've installed pets, so just the base directory. For me, I have Pets4, so I have the C drive, Pets4, vanilla is what it's called. Um, so just hit OK because that's already done. So I'm going to hit File, Open, and then you navigate to your Pets4 folder. So mine's on my C drive here, and you're going to want to click on Resource, which is where um, all of the pets breed files are stored. They're basically just DLL files with a special file extension. So depending on if you want to edit a cat or a dog, which are the only files that this program can edit, um, you want to click on the cats or dogs folder, respectively. So I'm just going to go cats, and just as a quick example, um, I'm going to pick the alley cat, and then it should open right up, and you should have a lovely view of an alley cat here. So you can scroll in and out to zoom in and out, see more, um, use the mouse wheel to turn it all around, a lot of useful options. So the first thing you should probably look at is over here, you have a toolbar. Um, so this is, you have a selection of different tools up here. Um, the first one you might want to use is the color tool. So if you hover over them, it tells you what they are. So ball color, and the pet is made up of individual balls, each which can have a different color. If you hit the color to paint, it opens up the color chart, and um, you get this lovely array of colors. Now an important thing to note is that only 10 to color 149 are gonna show up texturable. So if you want your pet to show a texture in the game, you're gonna have to stick between 10 and 149. So I'm gonna make it 10. I'm gonna make a white cat and just hit okay. And then just click and you can start coloring. It's that easy. Yeah. His ears. Now let's make him entirely white. There we go. Well, we missed a few places, but you get the gist. There we go, just a few more on the tail. Um, another option that you can do is to make the balls smaller or larger. To do that, you want to click on the second one here. It says increase ball size, or just says ball size. Um, and down here, you have increase size by, decrease size by five. You move the increment. So let's give them a big, fat head. Yeah, that looks great. Big, fat body to go with the big, fat head. Um, give them a poofy tail. Here, be a little bit smaller. Oops, that's bigger. Mm. Sorry, that little orange cyan. Yeah, there. Now he's looking a little more unique. He doesn't have the same proportions of just the default alley cat. So give him fat paws, because I like to do that. There we go. Just keep clicking, it's that easy. Um, this is the texture. We'll get to that in a second. This is fuzziness. So as you can see, you have zero fuzziness, which is a completely smooth ball. If you're making some kind of hairless cat or very short haired, all the way up to 10 fuzziness, which is wild fuzzy. So I'm going to use that one because I really can and it's fun. It's always fun to have a nice fuzzy cat. Okay. Uh, why don't we make the muzzle, I don't know, pink? There. Give him some pink here. Pink head, I guess. I didn't mean to do that, but it's called a happy accident. Pink tail. There. It's looking nothing like the original alley cat. Um, the next one is outline color. which usually you just keep it black, but if you want to, you can change it to anything you want. Um, there's an orange outline. I don't know if you can see that, but 
And now he's got some orange outlines. That's not one that you usually use too much unless you want to. Um, outline thickness. That's another one. You can have just a... All of these are default one thickness, but if you want, you can have a really thick outline. I'm just going to do one. Um, omit slash unomit ball. If you want, you can just delete a ball. So um, you can get rid of his tail, and then he's just got a floating ball there. So that's another really useful one. You always want to omit slash unomit balls rather than delete ball. You can only delete certain balls, so it's just easier to use the unomit tool. Now... Paint balls is the second one you're going to be using most often. You might be wondering how we get rid of all these um, beige spots in case we want to make our own. And it's really simple. You just hit select and select the ball. And then you have add, delete, clear. So first we'll start by deleting what he has here. And just hit the delete button. The ones that are going to be deleted are highlighted in red. There we go. You can also hit the clear button, do it a little faster. And there. Oh, missed one. Now we can add our very own spots. So to do that, pretty simple. Select, add. We can select our own color. So why don't we do blue? Um, any size you want, you can make it really tiny or size 3, all the way up to size 90, 500, covering the whole ball. Anything you want, really. So we'll just do 34, uh, mid-size spot. Close it. Um, you can do add on top. Let's do a green spot, because that's nice and ugly. Um, you can layer it how you want. That's add on top, places the ball over it. Add underneath, underneath. You can also add outlines, so outline color. We'll give him a dark blue outline. Yeah, that's nice and ugly. Um, change the thickness, you know, like a nice leopard spot. So a lot of fun things you can do. Um, the last one is lines, and you're generally not going to use this too often. Generally want to avoid recoloring lines, but if you want, um, you can resize the lines that connect the balls together. So I'm going to give him thicker legs. And generally, you don't want to go too crazy with this, but I'll let you figure out what happens when you do that. Um, line outline, basically the same as ball outline, and delete line. And the last thing I want to talk about is over here. So the one you'll probably use most often, taking eyes, this menu. And here you can change the eye color. Um, so you can give him yellow eyes. You can give him two different colored eyes. Uh, let's use that. There we go. And change the eyelids to match. Uh, scales and sizes gives you the height and fatness options. So here we can increase the height. We can generally make him as big as he wants. So just play around with that and have fun. So it's just a big, let's make him a big fatty, give him 160 fatness. Yeah, that looks good. Um, balls, this is just a list of balls and um, it's cut off. It's cut off because it's an old program. It's cut off on most computers, I think. But this says apply tool to balls. So whatever you're at over here, you can do color. For example, um, let's pick one. And you can use this color balls if you don't want to click on it manually this is just easier because you can't um, manually color balls like the the iris which is actually the pupil they call it the iris for some reason but this is how you change the color of the pupil just left click iris click apply tool to balls you know it's got red eyes um, but you also have options like the whiskers this is how you can change the color of the whiskers and you can't see that in public shop but in the game which I'll show you in the when I'm finished. Um, you see he has different colored whiskers. I didn't mean to give him red whiskers, but that's what's happening. He's just, he's a free spirit. And last one is probably textures that you're going to want to use. And um, 
So these are the default textures that are on the Alicat. Um, if you want to make a new one, you can do add, you can make your own texture. It just has to be saved as a bitmap. Um, but there's also a lot of cool default pet textures that you can use, like these flowers. Um, this menu here, color tech with ball color, is just like it sounds. Um, let's use show texture unchanged. Um, so we can get just nice flowers on him. Maybe on his pink parts. Yeah. So that's cute. Yeah, we love him. Yeah. And another thing that you can do is a little trick. Custom transparent color. Oh. I gotta make a new texture for that. So let's do the same. Do what was it? Pink flower. You just put in the number of the color that you want to be transparent. So in this case, I want the pink parts to be transparent and only the white flower showing. So I'm gonna put in 75, because that's color 75 in the pet's texture chart. Um, as you can see, you can check over here, 75. So when you put that in, and you can't really see in Pet Workshop, but when we open the game, it's gonna have white flower pattern on him. It's gonna be very cute. And, We'll increase the size of his eyes and give him a funny nose. That's funny. And this little thing, I want to be yellow. There. I'm going to give him a little yellow ear. And I'm going to give him a little yellow cheek spot. Get that top. Get Outline out of here. Let's do size 95. So it's nice and big. There we go. That's a whole nother spot. Um, so I think that's about it for my test alley cat. I can't think of anything else I want to do with him. Um, so this part is very important. When you save it, you're going to want to go to File, Save As. And you can either overwrite it, but let's just make a new breed simplicity's sake and we'll call this test alley hit save make sure you're in the resource cat folder and you want to change this id number or else you're not going to get your breed to show up in the game so it looks like it's a thousand and eight right now so just entering like a random four digit number a lot of usually works so we'll just do two three four seven and we want to go to breed and, and hit collapse all variations in the menu here um, just hit OK, and this will make sure that your pet actually shows up the colors that you want it to, um, and the variations don't clash with that. Basically, the variations are the data in the game for pets that come in different colors, like you have the gray Persian, um, the white Persian, so that just makes sure that you're getting the variation that you edited out of the Adoption Center. Otherwise, um, it can cause a lot of frustration, which is kind of a pain. So after you've saved, if you've done everything correctly, you should be able to adopt your breed out of the Adoption Center. So let's open pets and take a look. Okay, now here we are in our pets game. And if you made sure to change the ID when you saved it, as well as the file name, you should be able to get it right out of the Pick a Pet menu. And here's our alley cat. Now, if you'll notice that we set him to be a lot bigger and fatter than this, I'm gonna have to actually age him up to age 100 in Pets A. Um, to see those changes. But there he is. He's got a nice big fat head. When you adopt him and make him your very own. Um, I put lots more links in the description and more resources, um, more tutorials. Um, this is just the very basics, just to help you get a grip on it. But definitely the download links for programs, a few great pet sites. So check those out. I really recommend it. And thank you for watching. Have an unthinkable spirit.